On this episode, you're going to get perspective. My goal here is to show you and demonstrate to you what can happen if you make one decision, what can happen in a very short period of time. I'm going to tell you a personal story of what's happened to me over just the last 75 days and what I've been able to accomplish personally. And I'm going to relate this to your business and specific things that you can and should be doing that can have a dramatic impact on your life and on your career and on your income in a very short period of time. We're talking two and a half months, okay? Today, we're gonna talk about how you are one decision away from a completely different life. The Massive Agent Podcast. We lead generation tips and strategies to get you more leads and sell more homes. I love to buy houses, I like to sell houses. It takes brass balls to sell real estate. Wait a minute. The leads are weak, you're weak. I've had better. better. Oh, have I got your attention now? Here's your host, Dustin Brome. What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode 152 of the Massive Agent Podcast. Um, I, I'm going to keep it short today, guys. This is going to be a shorter podcast, but um, short and sweet. I'm going to bring it. Um, I had something, I had a completely different topic planned, but then I saw a post on Instagram this morning and it, uh, I, I scrapped it. I was like, screw it. I'm going to talk about this instead. One decision. You're just one decision away from a completely different life. I saw this on Instagram this morning from Ed Milet. If you guys don't follow Ed Milet, you should. He is an amazing personal development, business uh, mentor, coach, personality, whatever. I mean, the, the guy is uh, extremely wildly successful in business and in finances. Um, I believe he's worth north of three quarters of a billion dollars and uh, just extremely influential. And he's just, and he's a great guy. But uh, anyway, so I follow Ed Milet on Instagram. And this morning, I um, he's one of those few people that I have my Instagram post notifications turned on for. And so, and he's super freaking consistent. So when my phone dings at 8.30 a.m. mountain time, I know that Ed just posted every single day. Like it's, it's amazing. And, uh, and so I looked at it today and it hit me one decision. You're one decision away from a completely different life. And I've been going through something. I just completed something over the last 75 days that completely transformed my life and my wife's life and our family's lives and in a positive way. And, and so I, I have this fresh in my mind of how much progress you can make towards your goals and how much can actually change in just two and a half short months. And it starts with one decision that seemingly may not even be a huge decision at the time. It, it may just be a like, well, let's do this. And, but when you look back, you could be like, holy shit, like that decision changed everything. It had a major, major impact in a very short period of, period of time. And so as real estate agents approaching the end of the year, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up, Christmas is coming up and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and any other new holiday or national day of that, you know, it seems like they make up by the day now, uh, which is fine. It's totally cool. We all need something to look forward to, especially this year. Um, well, I almost got myself off my train of thought, so I'm going to hop back on here. But approaching the end of the year, it's important to refocus and, uh, you know, really attack right now, not waiting till January 1st. <laughs> I don't know why so many people wait till January 1st to start doing the things that they know they should be doing. Um, I know sometimes mentally we, we need that, you know, it, it's an easy place to start January 1st. Boom. Let's do that. Totally fine. But there's certain things in a business setting that we'll talk about today. There's no, there's no need to wait there. There's no need to wait. And if you do wait, you're actually going to fall behind those that start now rather than waiting. So uh, anyhow, it's going to be a great episode, but a shorter one, short and sweet. And um, I hope I can inspire or motivate or help uh, one of you guys today. And if I do, I'm happy. Mission accomplished. Real quick, I should probably introduce myself. If you are new to the show, if you're new to the Massive Agent Podcast, welcome. So glad you're here. My name is Dustin Brome, your host. I am a realtor in Salt Lake City, Utah. I've been an agent for about 10 years now. I am the co-founder of the Industry Syndicate Real Estate Podcast Network. I'm a national speaker on all things real estate marketing, social media marketing, lead generation, and podcasting. I am the founder of the Massive Agent Society, our one uh 
formerly one agent per market. It's, it's not anymore as of November 15th. Um, it is our Facebook ads lead generation training and coaching program. You can check that out at massiveagentsociety.com. And society membership, by the way, guys, lifetime membership is always free for those of you on my team. So if you are on my team at my brokerage, uh, whether you join through me personally or through another member of our team, you get free access always. So that's always there. If you want to talk about that, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Um, and then I just uh, about a month ago launched our new social media daily posting app called the Massive Agent Daily. It tells you what to post on social media every single day, and it teaches you and trains you on why it works uh, so that ultimately, eventually, you don't need to be told what to post anymore. You you get it. You understand it. You don't need guidance. But so many of us do because we spend way too much freaking time wondering, oh, what should I post today? And pretty soon an hour and a half has gone by and we've like created a graphic and done this thing. And then we're like, Oh shit. Like now what do I say? And, and so it it's dumb. You know, we all do it. We waste so much time or we waste time worrying about it and trying to figure out what to post. And then we don't, then we don't post. So either way we're losing, like we're, we're, we're losing ground here. Not good. So we created an app that notifies you every single morning. Hey, it's time to post. It tells you what to post. It lets you post right directly to the social networks right from the app. And then it tracks your performance and gives you some analytics on, you know, your followers that you're growing and your audience and, and all that good stuff. Uh, but ultimately, it is meant to increase your engagement with those that follow you and increase your audience and give people a reason to keep following you over and over and over again and not get bored of the same old open houses and just sold posts and check out my new listing flyer that I'm going to post and all that bullshit, which you know doesn't work, but we keep doing it. I don't know why. So check that out at massiveagentdaily.com and get started with that. Try it out for a month. And I promise you, your social media, um, what you're getting from social media will dramatically increase if you do the work. If you post the things we tell you to post and then you reply to every comment and you stick with it, after a month, I promise you, you're going to be like, oh, this social media thing that now I see why everyone's like, whoa, I get business from social. Well, if you haven't been, you just aren't doing the right things. That's why we built it. Massiveagentdaily.com. Check it out. All right, guys. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or you saw my Facebook story last week sometime, I posted a before and after photo because I just completed 75 hard. And I know I've I mentioned this on the last episode. I've mentioned it before, uh, but I want to dive a little deeper today and uh, and bring it back to us as real estate agents and, and what we're doing, trying to grow a business. So I just completed the program called 75 Hard. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Go to 75hard.com and that lays it all out. It's uh, the founder, or, or sorry, the creator of the program, his name is Andy Frisella. He is the CEO of First Form, which is a supplement company that I think is the best in the world. They're, the quality of their supplements is incredible if you're into supplements for you know uh, fitness. But he also hosts a podcast called Real AF with Andy Frisella, and his old podcast was called The MF CEO Project. You've probably seen it, probably heard it before. If not, I highly recommend Real AF with Andy Frisella or his older MF CEO Project podcast. But um, he started a program that he calls a, a mental Ironman. And it's 75 days long. Every single day, you have, to do, you have to do certain things. And you have a lot of flexibility you know, within these parameters, but you have to do it every single day. And if you miss one little thing, you have to start over at the beginning. And so my wife and I just finished it. We did 75 straight days. We killed it. We knocked every single thing out of the park that we that we had to do. And we did it together. And it was incredible. And our relationship's never been stronger. And it made it so much easier to eat well and to do our exercises and to drink our gallon of water a day and, and all the things that we had to do so much easier when we were doing it together. And we could hold each other accountable and like if, if I saw my wife reading her 10 pages of a book in the morning, I'd be like, well, shit, I better go do mine, right? So just doing it together, we held each other accountable. Um, if you don't have anyone you can do it with, it's still absolutely worth doing. It, it just requires a huge mental commitment. 
And so here's what I've learned, right? And, and I'm not going to talk about 75 hard for the next half hour. That This is not a 75 hard podcast, but the lessons I learned from it have direct correlations to the reasons why you're listening to this podcast. Okay, You're listening to this podcast because you want to grow your real estate business. Ultimately, you want to make more money in this industry, right? There's a bunch of different ways you can do that. Selling more homes is is the most obvious and probably the, the quickest one for a lot of you. Um, and, and so awesome. So as I'm telling you the story and telling you about my experience, um, trust me, I'm going somewhere with this. So we finished 75 hard. Uh, I post posted a before and after photo on my Instagram story and Facebook story the other day. Um, and it was kind of embarrassing or I was hesitant to post it, even though I don't look like my before photo anymore. I still have this certain level of like, wow, I cannot believe I let myself get that out of shape. And so um, here, let me pull it up real quick so I can give you some stats for those that, that haven't seen it. Okay. So I, we started 75 hard and don't worry if you don't know what 75 hard is, I'll briefly go over what you have to do as part of the program. We started August 30th. I weighed 183 pounds. I'm only 5'9", all right? Leave me alone. 183 pounds, but um, had no real muscle definition. You know, I, I had gotten out of shape. And you guys that have heard my podcast from a few months ago, you know that when COVID hit from like March until May, I let myself get so out of shape with no exercise. My diet went to absolute shit, eating absolute shit. And my stress and anxiety went through the freaking roof. And I thought I was having a heart attack. I uh, went and got an EKG done. I went to the doctor and all that because I'm like, hey, like, is my heart about to explode? Like, do I need to go to a hospital? It was just anxiety caused by stress or, you know, anxiety and stress caused by work, caused by, you know, regular stress and all that, uh, but no exercise, no diet. So um, I let myself get pretty out of shape. I started working out in May when... But once I found out like, holy crap, I have stress and anxiety and I've got to do something about it. I started exercising in May, but, um, I was only, I, I was still working out pretty hard. I was still getting in better shape, no doubt. But it wasn't until August 30th that my wife and I were like, you know what? We've been wanting to do this 75 hard program for a while. Why don't we just do it? Like we could just keep saying we want to do it one day. Like, oh, I don't want to do it when the weather's getting cold. Cause you have to do an extra, you have to work out outdoors at least once a day on the program. Um, everyone has excuses, right? So, um, or objections of why we can't do it now. And that was, so we just decided, like, I, I don't know what it was. I, I believe we were listening to a podcast of Andy Frisella's and the way he said something, we're just like, let's do it. Let's start this today. And we did. And that was one of those decisions that has led to a completely different life for my wife and I. And, um, and it's crazy. It, and it just happened kind of like on the spot. We both looked at each other. We were both on the same page and we we're like, let's do this now. Let's do it right now. So 75 hard for those of you who don't know what it requires. And let me pull up the, the dealio. Here's what it entails for 75 straight days, every single day, two 45 minute workouts. Okay. Two. And you can't just like wait 10 minutes and then start workout number two. They have to be legitimately separate workouts. Right. So ideally you wait a few hours, you have a meal between them. Like they have to be separate workouts. One of those workouts must be outdoors. You must follow a diet. It doesn't tell you what diet to follow, but you must follow a diet. Uh, no, no alcohol, no cheat meals. Okay. So no junk food, no candy. We were, uh, we were doing 75 hard over Halloween. So, you know, having this giant bowl of candy that our kids had was tough. It was a mental test for us, but guess what? That's good. No alcohol or cheat meals. It's funny how many people are like, well, if I can't not drink for two and a half months. Okay. If that's what you want, drink one gallon of water a day, which that was the hardest thing in the beginning for me, to be honest. And I'll give you a little tip on how to, how to do that. Read 10 pages, nonfiction, audiobooks do not count. It must be a physical book. Read 10 pages of a nonfiction book every single day. And then each day you must take a progress photo. And I used, if you guys are going to do this program, 
spend the five bucks, get the 75 hard app uh, from the app store and it helps you track. It helps you take your photos and uh, man, it, it's one of the best $5 we've ever spent just to track all this and make sure that we're doing it all. So that's what it entails. It's not crazy, right? So those workouts, it doesn't tell you what to do. It could be a 45 minute walk outdoors, which we did a lot. Um, it's not like you have to do two 45 minute, like I can't walk anymore. I'm in a pool of sweat type workouts. I started out the program like that and realized mm, that's not sustainable and got smarter about it. And when I got smarter about it, I actually started to see some real progress, but um, it, that could be two 45 minute walks. Okay. If you're, if you're not in shape, that could be two 45 minute walks. One of them must be outdoors. And uh, so whatever you want to do for your workouts, whatever you want to do for your diet, you just, you, you have flexibility there. What my wife and I did, uh, we did flexible dieting or in other words, macro tracking. We've since hired a coach that tells us how many carbs we can eat in a day, how many, how many fat grams, how many, you know, how much protein, how many total calories. And we, we track all of our food using my fitness pal, uh, with the app. And, and it's funny when you track something, it improves. So once we knew, okay, we can have 1800 calories and we need 165 grams of fat, 70 uh, or sorry, 165 grams of protein, 70 fat, whatever that is in carbs, let's say 80. We know, okay, cool. Like we can eat whatever we want. They just, it just has to add up to these total macros for the day, which is awesome. So we're able to eat steak. We can have cheese. We can have scrambled eggs. We can have toast. We can have peanut butter. Uh, you know, we, we ate very well. We enjoyed it. You just can't eat a ton of it. You can't overdo it. You can't have like five handfuls of almonds. You can't have, you know, a big like spoonfuls of peanut butter three times a day. You've got to do it in moderation, but we enjoy the crap out of it. Um, what I've learned is 80% of the results are from the diet, from proper dieting, consuming fewer calories than you burn and eating high quality foods. Single ingredient foods were key. So steak, Apples, carrots, broccoli, um, chicken, cheese, you know, like bacon, even, you know, if you can fit that in, um, single ingredient foods are key. So I'm not going to talk much more about the workout itself, but I've just had a lot of questions about, um, you know, holy crap, like what kind of diet were you doing? What kind of exercises I do heavy weight training. Um, I actually use the, my, my transformation app from first form. I highly recommend it. It's completely free, guys. If you're like, I need to start working out, but I don't have a clue where to start, go to the app store, get the My Transformation app. And transformation is T-R-A-N-S-P-H-O-R-M because first form is spelled P-H-O-R-M and totally free. The My Transformation starts today app from first form. They do these challenges in there too, where you could actually win some money but you can track your meals. You can track your workouts. It tells you exactly what to do. You can track your, your weigh-ins and everything like that. Totally free. Totally free. Use that app. Okay. If you want to do this. So as we're going through this program, you know, the first couple of weeks, because of our two workouts a day, we were sore as hell, stiff as hell. And even up until like uh, day 21 or something, it, there was those days where like, I, I felt like a 90 year old trying to walk just like so stiff and like, oh, because my body was not used to exercising twice a day. And one of those exercises, I was doing like real heavy weight training type stuff. First off, I enjoy it. And that's going to help me reach the goals that I have for myself. And, uh, and so it was rough physically. Like, so we started going to bed at nine 30 or 10 or 10 30 so we can get enough rest so we can recover and do it again the next day. And we learned how to adjust to that. We had to make certain sacrifices Okay. That's not what we were used to. We used to go to bed at 12 or 1230, sometimes one. So we had to change our, change our priorities and change our habits a little bit. Hmm. Do you think that that helps build mental strength? Do you think that helps build discipline? Yes, it does. The one gallon of water every day. Um, I wasn't drinking anywhere near that. And I realized in the first, the first few weeks, oh my God, I did not know a human being could, could go to the bathroom so many damn times in one day. And there were some days where I was pissing so often, I thought I was going to lose my mind. Like I'd have to, I'd be in the middle of zoom calls. Some of you guys, I may have been on one of those calls and I'm like, Oh, I'll be back. Cause I just like, it just kept coming, kept coming. What I learned 
a little little trick for you guys. And, and by the way, water is absolute key to just feeling great. Even if you're not going to do anything else, drink a bunch of water. One gallon is four 33-ounce smart water bottles. So I just, instead of carrying around a big gallon of water, which, I mean, let's be honest, if you're looking at that, it's kind of daunting. It's like, oh, I got to drink all that. Breaking it up into four smart water bottles and just consuming four of those throughout the day, so much easier. If you can drink one fourth, uh, uh, if you can drink the, a quarter gallon or one water bottle before nine or 10 a.m., you're golden. And then have another one before lunch, and then you can you know, kill the next two by the end of the day. It makes it so much easier to space it out, but you've got to start early or else you don't have a shot and it just makes it way too painful in the afternoon to try to squeeze in a gallon of water. Those are some of the tips. Um, but by making these changes, guys, um, while working every day, right? Like you guys have heard from me every week on this podcast, as I'm going through this program, I started to, I had to learn because now I'm doing stuff that's more time consuming. Okay. If I'm working out twice a day and I'm spending time like, uh, cooking our meals and weighing our food, you know, to make sure that we're only having six ounces of chicken instead of eight or whatever, you know, that it took more time than just going through a drive through somewhere. Uh, but that teaches discipline. Okay. That, that creates discipline. And I started to notice a few weeks in, uh, even though I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm stiff, I'm sore. I started to notice that discipline was carrying over into other aspects of my life. I started to actually like, um, I could play with my kids a little bit more, you know, or I would devote more time to them than I would before. Like I let myself get distracted too much before. But if I told my son that I was going to play soccer and we'd, we'd play to 10, um, you know, before I might be like, Oh, let's only play to four or five, you know, because it's bath time. But I was like, no, no, let's do it. Like I said, I'm going to do it. Let's do it. And, and so my kids are benefiting from this too. I've been more disciplined with the, with knocking things off my task list, my to-do list. And I don't know about you guys. I have a huge to-do list that is constantly growing. Whenever I take something off, I swear I add three more. That's just the way I am. Lots of ideas, lots of things to do. And, you know, I need to get better at outsourcing, but nonetheless, I got better at knocking stuff off, off my to-do list. The discipline that you get from exercise and sticking to a program translates into every other part of your life. And so I noticed some changes fairly quickly within the first couple of weeks. And uh, once you get going on this program, it's, it's never easy. Okay. It's called 75 hard for a reason. It's never easy. But once you get past the first few weeks, the, the difficulty, it, it got less about the physical difficulty of the workouts and, and it became more time management and discipline and, you know, making sure that whatever I have going on that day that I still do two workouts, that I'm still able to, you know, eat this meal, that I'm still able to make sure I hit all my, my macro uh, nutrition goals for the day. And, and that strengthened my mind so much more than I ever thought possible. So now I know why they call it a mental iron man guys. And if, if you're like the 75 hard thing sounds ridiculous, whatever, I hope you understand that just doing something for your physical health, something that's hard that you have to actually like commit to and you actually have to change your behavior and, you know, maybe sacrifice a few things. Like maybe you don't watch that show each night. Maybe you go to bed earlier and you only watch one episode instead of two, you know, maybe that's something you sacrifice, but it's worth it. So, um, I think I just mentioned the first part of my before and after photo, not the second. That's okay. I'll tell you how it all ended. But I started realizing pretty quick that I was just becoming a stronger, more confident person. And so around halfway through the program, I'm like, I'm just, I'm getting up every morning feeling so much better just about myself because I'm accomplishing hard things. Okay. If you guys aren't, if you guys are not accomplishing anything hard during the day, you're not growing. You're actually falling backwards. This is a big reason why so many of us who are struggling mentally, um, it's because we're not, we're not accomplishing hard things. We're, we're not challenging ourselves and then, and then stepping up to the challenge. We're not giving ourselves a tough goal and then hitting it. Okay. If you're, if you're not doing hard things, it's easy to fall into depression. 
It's easy to focus on what you don't have. It's easy to not be grateful. And it's, it's easy to focus on negativity. And, you know, and it starts this, this negative snowball. But I'm talking about a snowball in a positive direction. One day at a time, every day, you know, do these, you know, one, one hour at a time. It's not hard. It's not it's it's the making sure that you prioritize your time and arrange your schedule in a way that you make sure each one of these things gets done every single day. And pretty soon you're mentally strong, you're rested, you're feeling better, your natural energy's gone through the roof because you are exercising and, you know, exercise makes you healthier and gives you natural energy and you feel better and you can see how it starts to snowball, right? About halfway through the program, I realized that what I was doing was because of the mental strength I had built up, whenever I came to, uh, I'll use this in the, in the context of exercise, okay? So if I'm like, hmm, am, am I going to go walk that path over there or this path? And, and the, you know, the second path, it has two extra hills. Um, you know, a lot of people would be like, well, I'm going to go on the one that doesn't have the hills. It's, it's more flat. It's easier. Well, I'm now looking for the harder one. Like I... This, what 75 hard has done for me is now mentally, I choose the harder option because it's harder. Cause I know that that's where the growth happens. It's, it's crazy. And I heard Andy Frisella say this, that when given two choices, pick the harder one. And when he said that, I was like, holy shit, like that, that's how I feel. And now like those words are in my mind whenever I'm given a situation like that, like, are you going to do one more rep or take it easy? You know, are you going to do one more set or not? Are you going to take the day off um, or are you going to go on a, you know, a quick 30 minute walk, pick the harder one. And you can do that in business too, right? You could check out and go, you know, have a nap or go, you know, leave early and go out to eat, or you could, you know, write that quick post for LinkedIn. You could record that quick video. You could send that follow-up email to a client. You could go through your CRM and make sure that everyone's been followed up with. You could... It, Endless, endless things. You could go to your task list and knock the next one off, right? Do the harder thing because that's where the growth happens. So fast forward, 75 days, we finish this program. I take the after photo. I cannot believe how much fat I've lost. I have a six pack. I like, I have not weighed this little in well over 10 years, like since my early twenties, I'm 37 now, like I Maybe I was 19 when I weighed in the the 160s. So I started my weight at, um, when I started 75 hard on, where did it go? August 30th, I weighed 183 pounds. When on day 75, I weighed 166 pounds. 17, what is it? yeah, 17 pounds lost. And it's unbelievable how I feel. When I saw those photos side by side, it hit me like right between the eyes. Cannot believe how much progress you can make in just two and a half months. And what I said to open up the show, that Instagram post I saw this morning from Ed Milet that said, you're one decision away from a completely different life. That one decision that my wife and I made while we were standing in our kitchen, while our kids were eating and we were making our food to do 75 hard the very next morning. That decision put us on this course to where now we're seeking the harder path. And every time we, we go down that harder path and we crush it, we get a little bit more confidence. We're a little bit stronger. We're a little bit better, right? We made a little bit more progress than we had prior. And that over time compounds in a way that changes lives, changes careers. I've made more money in the last two and a half months than you know, my income has gone up dramatically. My business opportunities, my, the growth of my team has it's freaking microphone hit my microphone. My team has grown dramatically in the last two and a half months. It, and none of this is coincidence. It's not like, oh, they all just happen to do well at the same time. When you're doing hard things and committing to something that translates into other areas of your life. I, I want to challenge you guys. Okay. It, and Maybe it's not about weight loss. For me, it wasn't about weight loss. It was about burning some fat, feeling better, having more energy and being healthier so that I could 
run around and play with my kids without having to sit down and be like, oh, daddy's tired. Do you know how embarrassing that is? I was only 37 years old and my kids just wanted to wrestle and I, I, only had, I could only do it for like 45 seconds or a minute. And then I had to be like, oh, daddy's tired. And it, that's not okay. And now I've lost 17 pounds. It wasn't about the weight. I don't, I don't give a shit about the weight. I wanted to look a certain way. I wanted to feel a certain way. And I wanted to be able to play with my kids. And I wanted to perform better in business. I wanted to have more confidence. All of those things I've accomplished more than I ever thought in just 75 days. So if I can do these things in 75 days, and and I promise you, I could have pushed harder. Like I, I did pretty damn good, but there's always something we can do a little better. There's always some way we could have pushed harder. So I still could have pushed harder would my results have been even crazier then? Probably. So if I can, if I can have these results physically and mentally in 75 days, what can you do in 75 days, in two and a half months? If one decision can lead you to a completely different life, what decision could you make today that could change your life completely? What is that? And maybe it's multiple decisions, right? It doesn't have to be physical. It doesn't have to be health or nutrition related. It often is. I don't know. I mean, I don't know anyone that's completely a hundred percent satisfied of, uh, what they look and feel like physically. I'm getting close, but I'm not there yet. I still have goals. So maybe it's, um, maybe it's a, you know, selling a certain number of homes that you want to hit, but you don't know how to get there yet. Maybe that decision is to start that podcast that you've been wanting to do. Maybe it's to start door knocking. Maybe it's to start prospecting regularly, you know, two hours a day. Maybe it's posting on social media regularly. Maybe that decision you need to make is to actually start exercising or to start exercising for real and consistently. Maybe that means doing it seven days a week instead of four. Maybe that means diet. And guys, diet doesn't have to be like when people hear diet, they're like, well, I'm, then life's going to suck. It doesn't have to. Maybe you have fewer calories that you can consume, but you can still have really, really good food, steak, peanut butter. You know, it, you can. We ate bacon and peanut butter and steak so freaking much and blueberry. Oh, I love blueberries. We just handfuls of blueberries. You can eat really, really well and enjoy it and still lose weight and get in shape and burn fat. You can. So maybe it's a diet that you finally start doing. Maybe you need to make a decision to put yourself in a better position to win in your real estate career. Maybe you're with the wrong brokerage. Maybe you're with the wrong team. Maybe you have the wrong partners. Maybe you just need to put yourself in a better position to win so you can keep more of your money. You can have better tools, better resources, better support, better training. Um, maybe, you know, maybe you have on the negative side of things, maybe you have some partners that are weighing you down, um, holding you back. You know, a year or so ago, one of my closest partners, we split ways because of, you know, some bullshit and it's been one of the best things ever for, for me and my mental health and everything. Like it's at the time it sucked, but it's, it's been amazing. So sometimes when you part ways with certain people that are, maybe they're not full on negative influences, but they're not positive ones. So maybe that's a decision that has to be made who you spend your time with or who you don't spend your time with. But guys, I've come out of this 75 hard experience looking and feeling amazing, super proud of myself, my wife as well. She looks smoking freaking hot and we still have a ways to go to meet our goals, but just two and a half months, how much progress has been made. So now, now my mind has completely shifted to thinking, okay, if I could make that much progress so fast, what else could I attain quickly? What other decisions do I need to make to quickly achieve a certain goal? I talk to a lot of real estate agents that um, they're just the vehicle that they have to reach financial success selling homes. They're in the wrong vehicle. Their broker or brokerage takes way too much of their money or their team takes way too much of their money. They're paying way too much in fees. It's unbelievable how many agents I've spoken with recently that are paying over $1,000 a month for an office fee and they don't use the office, but they can't get rid of that fee because the brokerage needs that 
income to keep the lights on. Mm -hmm. But they're still paying it. Way too many expenses. Totally unnecessary. So maybe you're just not in the wrong spot. Maybe you need to align yourself with people that are more like-minded, that uh, have the same goals, or people who can help you accomplish your goals. Maybe you need to hire that coach. Maybe you need to take that course. Maybe you, you need to read that book. Okay? Please walk away from this episode uh, understanding that you can make dramatic progress in a very short period of time if you just make a bold decision. And sometimes it doesn't seem bold. I, you know, when my wife and I decided to do 75 hard, I think that was a fairly bold because we knew it was going to be a challenge. We knew it was going to be hard. A lot of people fail at it. And, uh, but it was hard in hindsight. It was much less physically hard than mentally difficult uh, because you just have to get, you just have to prioritize and build discipline. Please walk away from this and whatever decision you've been avoiding or that you know you just need to make to put yourself in a better position physically, mentally, spiritually, with your family or within business, ideally all of those things, there's no reason why you can't dramatically improve your situation on all those fronts. You know, sometimes making one decision does improve everything at once. Okay. If all of a sudden you start a business, okay. I, I know you guys are real estate agents, but maybe you have a business idea and you finally decide, Hey, I'm going to actually do that. And I'm going to put some money into that thing and I'm going to build it. And I'm going to do that thing I've been wanting to do for three years. If that makes you happier and all of a sudden, like the financial upside potential there, uh, if it makes you happier and you really enjoy it, that can help your family life. That can help, you, you know, mental, spiritual, uh, physical, all that. I think you guys get the point, but you are one decision away from a completely different life. Um, sometimes you, you just don't know that that one decision will change your life as dramatically as it will, but, uh, audit yourself. Okay. Audit, audit your situation and be honest with yourself. Um, one of the biggest things that I see is agents who are with a brokerage or part of a team that is not a good fit for them. Either it's way too expensive or they just dramatically limit how much growth you can ever make. You know, a lot of times, honestly, it's both. You're paying your broker or your brokerage or your team way too damn much money for what they give you. And then they still hold you back. They still don't let you fly. Well, that's a problem, okay? And whether you join my team or not, I mean, that's not why I'm bringing this up. Like, I just mean in general, find a better position, but it starts with looking for better opportunities, okay? What else is out there? If there's a certain office in your area that's growing like crazy and you're like, wow, everyone's over there now, like, go see why. I mean, just by going to look, going to find out why that office is growing doesn't, it's not like your current team locks the door and doesn't let you back in. Like you're researching. You should be researching. You should be looking with it, with open mind, fresh eyes to see what else is out there. I'm happy to help with my perspective. I'm happy to give you my advice. I'm happy to show you what we offer uh, as part of my team, but you know, it, you need to be looking for yourself. And if that's, it doesn't matter where, just so many of you guys are, you don't understand how much opportunity is being left on the table. You don't understand how much money you're missing out on. You don't understand how much money you could be saving, how much more of your commission you could be keeping, how many more homes you could be selling, how much more fun you could be having, how many more friendships and relationships you could be building just by being around like-minded people that encourage you and push you to do your best rather than telling you, well, that's not the way things are done. And guys, exercise. Please, for the love of God, start moving and eating better. I feel like I'm lecturing you like a parent at this point, but um, sometimes we need it. You know, sometimes we need it. I used to, before I started all this, I'm like, oh, how am I ever going to eat healthy 
consistently because I, I love going out to eat here and I love this and I love bread and I love, you know, sweet stuff and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, until I – and then I found out, holy shit, I can actually still do those things as long as I have a plan and I don't overdo it. Best of both worlds. But it starts with making a decision to figure it out. So guys, whatever whatever decision you, you need to make or decisions, please make them. And realize too, if you make the wrong decision, you can reverse course. It happens sometimes. I make the wrong decision sometimes, but then reverse course, you know, it's like, oh shit, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have left my brokerage. That was a bad move. Then go back. <laughs> you know, what are they not going to take you back? Come on now. Or, oh, maybe you start uh, vlogging or something and you're like, oh, I freaking hate this. Okay, then stop. You know, like nothing is permanent, it, but don't, don't, de- how do I word this? Don't confuse making a bad decision with making a decision that's difficult, right? Like now you have to do hard things. Don't convince yourself you made the bad, a bad decision when really you just have to s- see it through and put in the work and go through that hard shit. Don't confuse the two. If you guys have any questions or need any advice on 75 hard or what I did to, you know, lose 17 pounds in two and a half months, um, or what, what I eat, what, what apps I'm using, what supplements I'm taking, what I'm doing for my weight training, anything, let me know. Okay. Shoot me a DM on Instagram at massive agent or on Facebook. Um, I'm here to help. I, I hope that this has been helpful. My, my only goal today was to get some of you to the point where you're, you're ready to make that decision, that one decision that could totally change your life. Hopefully I've gotten some of you right there to where it's decision time and hopefully you've already made it. Hopefully you've already made it. If so, I'm happy as a clam. Guys, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate the shit out of every single one of you. Thank you so much. Um, If you found value in this episode or any other, please share it with a friend, share it with a colleague, share it with a team member, uh, share it in a real estate Facebook group, anywhere, okay? Just spread the word, help us to grow our audience. And, um, you know, this podcast doesn't cost you anything to listen to. We don't have any fee. All we ask is that if you find value, please share it with others so so they can enjoy it as well. And uh, one way you can do that is to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts if you have not done that yet. Very simple. Um, I even created a nice little URL that can take you right to it. So if you use, if you have uh, an iPhone or use Apple Podcasts, just go to massiveagentpodcast.com slash review and you can do it right there. It helps us out a lot. We appreciate it. But um, my big main ask today, guys, is that you make a bold decision and then do the work required as a result of it. And then tell me about it. I want to know. If you guys start 75 hard, give me your updates. Tag me in those posts. Let me know. I want to see that shit. It fires me up. Fires me up. I did a a personal challenge to my entire EXP team the other day on on our team call. And I know a bunch of them have already started 75 hard. And they're they're like, hey, I've already killed a half gallon of water today. And I'm on my second workout and all that that fires me up because they're excited about it. And I know what they're about to go through and the growth that's about to happen. So please, please do not be one of those people that just sits back and lets 2020 happen to them. I want you to happen to 2020 because that's what I'm doing. 2020, 2020 got me for a couple months, but it got me in a way that motivated me to not want that anymore and to go in the opposite direction. And I hope you guys do that too. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for listening. See you next week.